Okay, so today I want to look at some old websites of Garabandal. Websites produced about Garabandal in the 1990s and that have been frozen in time, that were never updated and then ceased to exist. I'm going to look at them so that we can find out what people believed about the prophecies, the messages, the locutions of Garabandal in the 1990s um, and compare them to what people are saying today. I'm going to look at this website to begin with, Garabandal, still under investigation by the Roman Catholic Church, part two of three. So this website tells us um, a couple of prophecies to begin with, a couple of locutions that uh, um, Conchita reports to have had, where Our Lady is saying, and this is stuff that you'll all know already, that um, there are going to be three more popes um, after John the 23rd, now only three more remain. There's going to be three more popes and then the end of time or the end of the times, as sometimes it's translated from the Spanish. Not the end of the world, but the end of times. And again, she says at another time in the hearing of Maximina and another priest. And then finally, um, to uh, one of her teachers in Burgos, um, she says, yeah, the warning miracle chastisement, uh, that's not going to happen at the end of the world. That's going to happen at the end of time. So, and again, after Paul VI, there will only be two more popes. Then will come the end of time. And that's when miracle warning chastisement occur. So Paul VI, then John Paul I, then John Paul II. And during that reign, the end of time? Well, that's what this website tells us. Here we go. It says here, According to the prophecies of Garabandal, this Pope, John Paul II, is the last authentic Pope. The Roman Catholic Pope is preparing humanity for the new millennium. So they're saying here, this is drawing a bit from Father Gobi, actually. The tribulation will be at its height after the death or escape of Pope John Paul II. I mentioned in another video that they were Go, Father Gobi was saying that John Paul II was it Father Gobi or, or was it the, the the American the American prophet? Um, they both certainly featured uh, John Paul II as the key flayer in end time prophecy, and then the turn of the millennium was going to be a huge moment in end time prophecy. So anyway, on this Garabandal website, we're being told this Pope is the last authentic Pope. So that means, according to this website and all the people that were reading this in the 1990s, yeah, after the Pope's death or escape, the Antichrist will start his reign. He will stop the celebration of Mass and proclaim the Mass as being just a simple sacred ritual. He will challenge the presence and reality of Jesus Christ in the Holy Eucharist. So this is what people were saying, Garabandal followers, about the year 2000, or just before that, obviously, just before that. So that's one website. Second website, Garabandal, India. This is the Garabandal Center in India. Again, I think this website is is has been produced um, before 2000, in the late 90s. And here I've put you to the page Joey's story, Joey Lomangino. Because now, of course, we all know, we all know nowadays that Joey was never promised that he would see the miracle. Um, he would kind of just spiritually see the miracle from heaven, right? Well, that's that's kind of not what they were saying before his death. I've got a search up here for C. You can see that. Joey has the assurance that he will one day see. Conchita has also quoted the version saying, the first thing, thing he, Joey, shall see will be the miracle which my son will perform through my intercession. And from that time, he will see permanently. And we're told, Conchita has verbally explained that her understanding of the virgin's term, new eyes, as we know them, not necessarily spiritual vision, and that Joey's new eyes are to be used for the glory of God. It must have been... There's some problem here on this website, I think, uh, with translation. Um, I think the Virgin said that Joey was going to have new eyes. And this little bit on the website is saying that Conchita explained that the by new eyes means normal eyes. It doesn't mean 
um, kind of like super robotic eyes. I don't know. But she's clarifying that it's going to be real, real eyes, new, being able to see um, for the glory of God. Um, and if we jump down to a couple of other references about seeing, um, do you want to see? Um, Joey himself has a kind of locution um, where he's told that um, an explanation. Do you want to see again? Yes. Then pray 17 Hail Mary, seven acts of contrition, five our fathers, three times a day. When will you come back? Soon. So he obviously had an assurance from this locution as well about, here we go, unless specially asked, Joey never mentions a prophecy concerning his eyes, but he believes without reservation that he will one day see the Virgin Mary has said so. There we go. Um, again, in a letter, she told me that the, ver that the voice you heard was hers. That's this locution that I just quoted to you. And that you shall see on the very day of the miracle. She also told me that the house of charity you would establish in New York will be in great glory to God. He says that the prophecy, it took some time for the prophecy to sink in. It looks like the house of charity did get founded. But the part about the eyes, as we know, that didn't, that didn't happen. Just check if there's anything else about seeing on this. I don't think so. No. So again, Garabandal India, the Garabandal Centre of India, are telling us Joey is going to see. And it's not, and there's no question about it, he's going to see in this life. Final page, Garabandal India also. A bit more on the three popes business. Here we are. We 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 presented the three popes here, and the description here. John Paul II, the last pope before the end of our times. He will see the miracle from wherever he is. Conchita believes he will be in Russia, but says that's only her opinion and not something Our Lady told her. Wow. This is a little PD, a little uh, JPEG or something. That's not a JPEG you see on Garabana websites nowadays. That's really, uh, that's really interesting. We don't hear that at all. Three Popes. We heard about this on the previous website, talking about, uh, about, the, about the locutions, about the councils. What can't we say about this Pope, John Paul II? who, according to Garabandal, is the last of the three remaining popes. His reign now is in his 20th year. He's one of the most remarkable in the 2,000-year history of the papacy. And one thing is certain, he's leaving an indelible imprint on the latter part of the 20th century. This is what he's done during his tenure. He's travelled a lot. He's done encyclicals. He's canonised. Uh, he's done uh, new catechism. He's done canon law, uh, etc., etc., doesn't mention the uh, meeting a CC with all the religions and the religious indifferentism that was promoted as a result of it. John Paul II, not as vigorous as he was. Of course, he's, he's, uh, he's getting on now. John Paul is determined to lead the church into the third millennium. We have no reason to doubt he would do it. There's one of a relation made at Garamandal about the papacy. Our Lady told Conchita that, that the Pope... The Pope will see the miracle from wherever he is. Since John Paul II is the third Pope, he automatically becomes the one to whom this prophecy refers. And while we don't know the date of the miracle, only Conchita knows that, what we do know is that it will occur within John Paul II's lifetime. Taking into consideration his age and state of health, it would seem that it is not far off. Maybe we prepare ourselves May we prepare ourselves to these fateful events of warning and miracle by leaving the message that can be found on this website. So there we go. Oh, look, this is from uh, the issue 1999, uh, but the website copyright 2001. There we go. It's, uh, it's something that we're not hearing about Garam Baladal nowadays. Um, and Conchita, Conchita's never said anything since the year 2000 
or since the death of John Paul II, when was that, 2005, I think? That's when he passed away, I think. She hasn't said anything about this, kind of clarifying about this bit here underneath John Paul II's picture. She's not said anything to clarify that. So, so there you go. Draw your own conclusions on this one. Does it completely disprove the apparitions of Our Lady at Garabandal? Personally, I don't think so. I think it certainly causes us to doubt the truth of some of the locutions that Conchita was telling people. <laughs> I sometimes get the idea that Conchita, as the 60s wore on, especially uh, 63 onwards, there are loads of people visiting her and they're kind of coming up to her and saying, oh, Conchita, have you heard anything? Uh, what's the latest? And I think that she gives way to a bit of that and she she says some things. Maybe she thinks it's from Our Lady. Maybe it's from the evil one. Maybe it's her imagination. Maybe she likes the attention that she's getting. And there's people that are, are hanging on her every word. That's my that's my understanding of the situation. So I still believe Our Lady did appear in Garabandal. But as for the miracle, the warning chastisement element of Garabandal, I think, again, this this causes us to doubt even further the chronology of the miracle warning chastisement. If the warning is going to happen and if the miracle is going to happen, I certainly wouldn't be putting much attention on what Conchita said about the dates of those different things. May Almighty God bless you. May Our Lady intercede for you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.